if you play guitar, you most likely got into it because you heard a pentatonic lick. You know, any kind of, any, any little thing that has that kind of sound to it just automatically sounds good to people who like guitar. You know, you put that little extra flat five. One of the things that people run into that becomes a problem uh, when they're trying to expand on their possibilities or ways of using pentatonics is that the right hand and the left hand uh, sometimes don't cooperate with each other. And pentatonics usually work out to be two notes per string, and that complicates the right hand quite a bit. You have to really work hard on your picking technique if you want to play lightning fast pentatonic riffs uh, two notes per string. Right. So there's, there's other ways to do it, and I can show you a couple of simple ways to, to at least get your left hand thinking about it differently, and the right hand will follow after a little bit of adjustment. Uh, let's take just A minor pentatonic uh, in this position, starting on the A string at the 12th fret. If we look at it as two notes per string, so you've got that little pattern right there. If you were to practice that and try to get your speed up on that, you can see like once you get past there, it's gonna start getting a lot harder because there's a lot of quick motion that has to happen. And when the pick is working in that confined space, for a lot of people, it's totally unnatural. But if you wanna look at it a different way, instead of playing these same notes as two notes per string, except the last one I did three notes, as you can see, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three notes, then one note, then three notes, then one note, then three notes. And so what that gives you, if you break it down, you have three notes, three notes, and three notes, right? Even there is a cool lick, right? So you could hammer on, you could pick one, hammer, hammer, pick, hammer, hammer, pick, hammer, hammer, right? That's a, that's a lick in and of itself. We left out two notes in there, but check it out. If you, if you start to get it to where you really can see this, this shape and get it under your fingers, you can work out a picking technique that's the sweet picking technique that Frank Gambale and other people uh, are really great at. So you have a downstroke, upstroke, and then down, down, down. So it's one, two, three on one string. The downstroke of this third note continues to the next string. So down, down, and then con uh, continues again to the next. So it's almost like a chord shape here. You could either ring them out or have them individually ring and you kind of like mute the string with the fleshy part of your finger as you're making the pass. So right there, it's down, up, down, down, down. Right? The next thing that would happen is you would continue from there. It would be an upstroke, down, 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 up, down. So. There's not much going on. Your, your right hand is just kind of on autopilot. You could do it with other things too, like uh, check out if you do it like this. Down stroke, uh, hammer, hammer, finger, and then the pick again. So, or you can have two fingers. So like down stroke, hammer, hammer, finger, fingers. That's a different sound that... It's much more mellow, but see, this gives you all this variety of how dynamically you want to attack the string.
So that's what's kind of cool about it is that you can really start to incorporate the tone of your fingers, you know, and even another good exercise is to just try to do it only with your left hand. Try to get that cleanly across the strings, like right there. It just maps out very easily. And once you know what it is, it's like the right hand can synchronize with the left hand because you automatically know this little sequence. Mm -hmm.